Hello, queens and kings, and welcome back to the Glamorous Castle in Decor. In today's video, I will be creating a trash to glamorous where I will be using a old lampshade to create this gorgeous but glamorous ceiling chandelier. If you all would like to see how I create it, please continue to watch. Okay, queens and kings, so I want to tell you guys all about the materials that I will be using in this video to recreate my DIY ceiling crystal chandelier now here are the crystals that i will be using well partial some of the crystals i'll be using but i got these glass crystals from amazon and i like them because of their glass and the reflection that it gives and they just beautiful and this is a smaller size so i will link them down below because the bigger they are the more that they cost but this is how i look with the light hidden i just love the way that they look and yes this portion of the video was recorded during christmas time so that's just how old this video should have been up but anywho here are some more crystals that i will be using that i got from e favor mark now this entire bag here was full of these little folk crystals and this is how they look with mixed in with the glass crystals now if i didn't tell you you wouldn't have known that they was fake well faux crystals well not glass however you want to call it but I also will be using this garland as well that came from Amazon as well as eFavor Mark. Now, can you tell between the two which is glass or which one is plastic? Well, the first one that I touch is plastic. Those are from eFavor Mark, which they look exactly like these ones that I got from Amazon, the first one. Now, aren't they just as beautiful as any other crystals you have seen? Because like I said, you wouldn't have known if they was faux crystals or not. But I love them and I'm going to use both styles to create my look. Highs and low. Now here are the other crystals that I just took out of the bag from e Mart. I just want to show you guys how those look as well. Now they just as beautiful as the glass crystal. I really do love the shape of these here. And I will leave them down below as well as a discount code. Now here's the pendant light that I got from Amazon and I will be using it to create the entire look inside the bag it came with these little hooks and latches so therefore you can hang it from your ceiling or wherever you want to and this is the on and off switch which you guys will see later on later on in the video how i be able to hook it all up so here's my lampshade which is an old lampshade that my daughter had years ago and it's wire or metal i mean to say and it have these little grooves on it here where you see the crystals hanging at this was the reason why I recycled this because I know it was going to be easy for I could be able to put these glass and faux crystals on there because it had like the plastic beads or something like that on it. But I love it and it's going to give me the look that I want, but I hope it actually do exactly what I need it to do. So by its metal, it's going to be hard for me to be able to put the plug in there. So what I'm going to do later in the video, you guys will see. But as you guys can see, I have already started placing some crystals on there. And it's basically how I'm going to line them up. And as you guys can see here, I have placed some more on there. I did this portion off camera just to show you guys, uh, give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. But it's really not going to look like this because I'm going to fill in the gaps. But it's kind of weighing it down. The more crystals I put on, the heavier it gets. But I love it though. I really do love it. So on the first row, I have the glass crystals and the faux crystals, the hard plastic crystals um, e -favor from e -favor Mark is in the middle and some more glass crystals is on the bottom row. So it's going to be a three-tier ceiling chandelier. So here I'm showing you all how I actually put them on it, which is no, it's not hard to do at all. It's just basically open the, the jump rings and basically slide them on there. That's pretty much it. And what I mean by jump rings are the rings that's in between each one of the crystals to connect them together. And I'm going to just continue doing that all the way around until I get the desired look that I want. So, therefore, that's pretty much it.
all right queens and kings so now for the down and dirty part of it here i'm going to use this electric tape i believe that's what my husband called it and then i have these like pliers that is used to cut wire or anything like that i don't know don't ask me i just know i just let him do this all right queens and kings stick with me because i'm really gonna have to explain this the best way i can so here my husband is cutting the pendant light and we cut it a couple inches above the switch that was located on the pendant light. Now you're going to take these wires here and cut this card in half. The reason I'm doing this is because the lampshade is made of metal and you see the top part of the hole there. I could not cut it. So I'm going to need to get the card to fit through there. So therefore my light bulb can fit flush at the top of the lampshade. So now that he have cut that and put Pull it apart he's gonna take the wire cutters and he's just gonna cut like a groove and he's gonna pull the protective cover off of the wires so it can displace the wire now you don't want to cut too far because you would cut it in half like that and you have to go back and do this again so just cut a little groove and pull so therefore it will showcase or display the wires that is covered by the white protector and what he did on that first part he's gonna also do on this part as well all right queens and kings so this is the next step now you should have wire showing on each end where you cut the pendant light card in half now we're going to slide the first portion which is the end where the light bulb go at we're going to slide that in through the tiny hole of the lampshade which i'm trying to give you guys as best clip as i can at this point here but it was kind of a little struggle for him so i was like let me do it let me do it but no so what we had to do is just squeeze one part in where we cut the wire in half and then we'll place the other part in and once we get both parts in it'll just we'll be able to reconnect it back together and this is how it looks all right queens and kings so now that we have pulled cards through the top of the chandelier now my husband is reconnecting the wires back together and what he did is he matched up the wires back and how we did that because one part of the car have some small writing on it and the other part didn't so pay attention before you cut your card in half now the way that he wired this and placed the tape on there the first one is not the correct way to do it so he's going to go back and correct that now the correct way to do it is how he's doing it now placing the wires together and then he's going to take the electric tape and wrap around it so therefore it's scratched out it's not connected together because you know i got to hang it up so now he's going back to correct itself and he's placing the two wires back together and then he's going to take a piece of the electric tape and to cover that now this is very protective this is not a fire hazard or anything we have done it before la magic right beautiful so it's not a fire a fire hazard or nothing to be concerned about we have done it before so now let's get ready to hang this up but i am gonna fill the new gaps okay queens and kings so here's all the materials i will be using my drill so therefore i can pre-drill some holes in the ceiling where i'm going to mark where i want the location for the chandelier to be and these screws that are look like hooks came in the package as well as these plastic ones that look like screws to hold the hooks and everything in place Okay, so I have made my marks where I want to drill the holes at in the ceiling. So therefore, I can hang my chandelier. Okay, queens and kings. So now that our holes have been made, he also have placed the white plastic screws in place where each one of the holes is located at. And now here, he actually screwing in one of the hooks in place. And now he's going to pull on and make sure that it doesn't fall now that we got one into place we're going to do the other and basically he's going to bam those into the pre-drilled holes we have made earlier which i apologize for not showing you guys that all right queens and kings so we have drilled our holes we have hammered our little white little plastic screws in and we have also screwed in our hooks so now it's time to place our ceiling chandelier in place and which i am loving at this moment even though it's still not completed which i will be showing you guys the completed look very soon because all these gaps you see you will not see anymore 
and I'm loving it. So if you guys loving this so far, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up, like this video and share it. All right, queens and kings. So here is my gorgeous ceiling chandelier, which I totally love it. I am blown away how this turned out. There is a certain thing that I do want to change it that I will change, which I will be telling you guys in a minute. But look how gorgeous this is, like breathtaking, right? This looks so beautiful and so real. And you cannot tell that they are two different styles of crystals. One is a faux glass and one is a glass. And look how gorgeous they are. Like, oh my goodness, this is so breathtaking. Just, I love it. By far the best I have done on YouTube. The king so here is the moment that i don't like is basically you see it it's the card so i am going to move the card from behind the canvas and place it in the corner here that little triangle point but i just love this i just had to show you guys once again before we end this video if you queens and kings enjoy my little trash to glamorous ceiling chandelier out of i think three i have done so far but this by far is the best one i have done in my opinion but once again, if you queens and kings enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, share the video as well, and subscribe if you're just stepping and stopping by the Glamorous Castle in Decor. With that being said, queens and kings, you guys be blessed and continue to be royal.